everyone. This is Lisa. Thanks for joining me today on my YouTube channel. Um, today I'm sharing a really fun card. It's a coffee related card and I had in mind kind of a masculine card with Father's Day coming up. Uh, a lot of fathers love coffee and this would be a fun way to give a gift card to someone. But by the time I got to the end of the card making process and I changed it up a little bit I realized this would be fun for anybody who has a great sense of humor. So to get us started though with this I want to go ahead and tell you I'm using Lawn Fawn's Lucky Stars sentiment set. Now it is an older set but it's one that I go back to often. I'm also using Casual Fridays to go cup fried eye. Now I had thought about using just a regular die cut mug um, that I have from Casual Fridays, but I ended up going with the to-go cup, and I think I really kind of like it better. But maybe we'll do another uh, coffee-related card like this using the to-go or using the actual mug. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and start working on this background. Now this galaxy background is something that I've played around with before, but I didn't like the way that it looked so I never finished them. I ended up throwing them in the trash can. Today I decided that I was going to see it through no matter what and then I would make the final call before <laughs> throwing it in the trash can. So I grab my Distress Oxide inks and I'm using Black Soot and Wilted Violet. Now you'll see I have Tumble Glass and Carved Pumpkin. I ended up changing those out for Blueprint, Sketch, and Twisted Citron, which you'll see while I'm inking up this paper. I do add a little bit of removable adhesive to the back of the card panels in hopes that it will hold these in place. It doesn't. What are you going to do? So... <laughs> You just keep on going. So anyways, I grabbed my little finger daubers there. And I decided that I was going to work with the finger daubers with the colored ink. Because I feel like it lays down more ink. It gives you a more vibrant color without having to go back over it a lot. So that's why I started with the finger daubers. Now I do try the life changing brush with the black ink and I go back and forth with the life changing brush and the finger dauber for the black ink but initially when I went to use the life changing brush with the black ink I was not liking the way that it was laying the ink down um, let me rephrase that I d it wasn't heavy enough so I was finding that I was having to go back over it a lot whereas with the applicator it seemed like it was laying more down initially. So, but you'll see me go back and forth with the dauber and the brush. And so, and I'm also going back and forth between those colors uh, to create this background. Now, until you get to the end of creating these panels, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play around with you. It looks like hell. There's no way around it. Um, just see it through all the way through to the end and you'll probably end up liking what you've created and I found that's what happened with me was if the first couple of times I'd worked with the galaxy backgrounds if I had have seen it all the way through I probably would have been okay with the way they looked but I didn't do that so shame on me so anyways I'm gonna finish these off I'm just continuing to add these colors going back and forth back and forth until I feel like I'm good with the way they look. I add a little bit of water to them. Not a lot though because this is not watercolor paper that I'm working with. I'm actually using the 80 pound Nina and I didn't want to cause the paper to warp or bubble up like it does sometimes if you add too much water. Now I'm using my Fine Tech uh, Shimmer Watercolors. I love these things and I spritz a little bit of water into the pan and I start to mix it up. Now I like to keep the consistency thick when I'm using it to splatter. So I actually use the white shimmer and the champagne shimmer on the card panels and I ended up really liking the way that these look. So I, since I'm happy with them and I've finished the splattering, I'm going to dab a little bit of the excess 
off and then I'm going to go ahead and start die cutting these with the to-go cup. So once I get these die cut, I set them to the side and then I let them finish drying all the way. And I'm gonna go ahead and start stamping the sentiment and die cutting it and also die cut the lid for the coffee cup. So now we're gonna just go ahead and stamp our sentiment. I'm gonna do this twice on this piece of paper. I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black ink and I'm just gonna flip the paper and stamp it one more time and then I'm gonna take this to the die cut machine. I'm going to die cut it out and I'm also gonna go ahead and die cut the lids for the coffee cup out. Okay, so I decided that I was going to take a piece of 80 pound Nina cardstock and four and a quarter by five and a half inches, two of them, and I was going to run it through uh, an embossing folder that has stars all over it. I thought it would make for a really fun background for this card. And then I'm just using my ATG gun to add adhesive to the back of those, and I'm going to add those to a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base. Okay, so we're pretty much done. We're gonna wrap this up real quick. I'm gonna add 3D mounting foam to the back of the coffee cup, the lid, and also the sentiment. Then I'm gonna center all of that up on my card base. Now, one thing I wanna to talk to you about real quick is as I was working with this, I decided that I wanted to change that sentiment up a little bit, and I kept seen the sentiment read I love you to the Starbucks and back since I'm using these as gift card holders I thought that that would be a really fun touch uh, with these cards and so I ended up grabbing a lawn fawn alphabet set I do believe it's the Milo alphabet set and stamping out the word bucks so I could cut it down as small as I could and then I ended up adhering that over the S on the end of stars. And I did have to position it a little bit wonky, but that just added a little bit of fun to it. So once I finished doing that and I added some um, white enamel dots to this, I was pretty much done. So I hope that you guys have a great day and I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you'll join me again and until then take care and keep crafting.